Hey everyone, I am Ken Ross here and I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking into their essential expenses and today I'm going to tell you why I can take the steps that I've given you on saving money, saving the most money today and bringing it and putting it on steroids. So let's get started. In the pre-step, I talk about categorizing your vendors, I talk about making sure you have a good list of every person that you pay, right? In that particular case, what I can do for you is I can kind of give you a shortcut and say there are categories of business that are kind of low-hanging fruit. They're categories that almost every business has, such as telecom, right? I've been using telecom as my example, that most businesses would use and could find some value in doing an analysis on. So I have a good list of five or six categories of business that I'd love to talk to you about and get in, get your in, input on as far as how you use those services in your business. That's pre, the pre-step. Step one, right? Step one is, hey, call your friends in business. Ask them for a breakdown of their bills. Get their price for that service. As a result of my relationships, I am able to uh, have at my fingertips over 200 other folks that are just like me that do this every day that reach out to their clients that get access to their bills and their statements and we have a, a network of, of, of these folks and what we do is we consolidate that information and we help each other through sharing of that information at, at, a, at a corporate level so um, just think of it this way right um, I own a franchise. That franchise allows me the ability to use a head office staff of people that handle all the analysis and they give me all the trends, all the data that I can use to then compare against other types of services, other people that are in your industry using that type of service. And I can do that comparison in a matter of minutes where it would take you a matter of minutes to call a person and ask them, but you have to do that five or six times. I've already done that thousands of times because of my relationship. So that's something to take in mind on step one. Step two is calling your vendors, establishing a great relationship with them, right? Finding and locating good vendors. I can help you in this step as well because not only in this whole proven process that I've talked about that we've saved a lot of money for businesses we have proven relationships we actually have what we call a vendor database and that database we actually rate every vendor that we we talk to and this goes back to my first point the first point was I have over 200 folks just like me that at my fingertips at my disposal we reach out to vendors all the time and we explain to them hey we're in the business of saving clients money. We don't have a, a direct relationship with the vendors, but I would love to have you as part of our vendor database. And the reason that is, is because vendors know that a good relationship with a, with a customer will keep them around, will keep them loyal. So when we start talking to them about what we do and why this is so important for our, our clients, they see value in spending time and understanding us, right? So that relationship is beneficial for both myself as an analyst and, for, excuse me, for the vendor and their business because what they're going to say is, hey, I'm a part of this big network of people that are looking to save clients money and they're looking to have a good relationship with me because I'll get more clients that way. So uh, it's really a simple proposition for them in the sense that if I can establish a good relationship, like I said, that I will get more business and I'll be able to deliver a quality product and I'll be able to get actually feedback on those things. I, I, I spend a lot of time with some of the vendors when I'm talking to them, giving feedback on what my client is really working on, how they really want to use their service, how what frustrations they may have, what problems they may have, and come up with solutions to solve them, right? Because a lot of, a lot of vendors are, are not in touch with their clients and their clients aren't out, out necessarily calling the vendor and saying, hey, look, this is my problem today. This is what I'm trying to do. I provide that feedback. I'm kind of like the liaison in between, right? That gives you 
better relationships with your vendors so that they can deliver a better service to you. That's step two. Step three, help with changing vendors, right? I said, go and find another vendor, right? And get their price. And ultimately, the reason you'd want to do that is so that you could move to that vendor, right? In our analysis and in, in doing this, about 80% of the time, you stay with the same vendor. And that's fine, right? Because most vendors want to keep their customers. They're going to offer you a good discount. They're going to try to firm up their relationships. So as a client, I give you the choice. You decide what you want to do, right? I don't, I don't care what you, what you choose. Just choose a good solution and execute on the plan, right? But if you choose to switch vendors, that sometimes feels like a very arduous task. That, that's something that requires a lot of mental effort and understanding of how it works. And in the case of telecom, for example, let's say you're, you're changing out all of your cell phones, right? Or you're upgrading your, your service, right? You need to roll out new SIM cards to all your wireless phones. You need to configure those things. You need to make sure that uh, everything is working smoothly. And as a business owner, that takes a lot of time, right? If you partner with me and if you work with me, I'm going to make sure that goes the smoothest that it can. I'm going to volunteer my time or I'm going to even find a, a vendor that can do this for you, right? And say, hey, look, this vendor really wants you to get this done and they want to do it correctly. So I have this other guy or I have this vendor who wants to, who specializes in making sure that these kinds of transfers work out, right? And as long as you use his, his service, He's going to support you in whatever you need, right? So businesses do have a lot of needs, and there are vendors out there that are out to supply specific needs, especially when it comes to transferring service or going from one vendor to another. So that, that's something to keep in mind, right? That if you do decide at some point, hey, I, I really just need to switch vendors. I need to, I need to have a fresh start. There are people who specialize in that, who want to help their clients and they want to invest in that way how do you find those people how do you how do you know they exist they exist because we're in the business of selling good service and making sure that that's there and and there are there are companies out there and there are businesses out there who want to make sure that actually is smooth for their customer because that's what really drives value and if you've been listening to me at all on this channel and you've been seeing anything about about business here the thing about business is you really need to invest in and, and spend time in understanding the ins and outs of certain things in business knowing what to put value in what to invest in and what to say you know what not right now or i don't really need that right because there are businesses who are out to just take advantage of business owners and there are businesses that are out to really help business owners i want to be on that second category i want to be a business that helps businesses grow in the best way that they can. And that's why I feel like ultimately in the end, I created this channel is that I want people to know this information. I want them to be able to apply it to their business in however they want and at whatever extreme they want. And if someone really thinks that, that um, someone like me can help their business and they can take it to the next level when it comes to cost reduction, that's what I want to offer you. So, that's what I have for today. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I, I'm really um, very much passionate about what I'm doing right now. I, I want to see a lot of folks save money this year. And, and this channel is about that. I really want to see you apply these steps to your business. And I want you to comment down below that I've done some of these things. And yes, I saved some money because I want to see 52 people this year save money on their bills, regardless of what it costs me. And I've, I've been very transparent here. I've, I've explained every part of my process with you. I've, I've explained how you can do it on your, you know, in your own business at, at your own scale. And then I have explained why my scale is, is actually very much different than yours. There, there are many more facets to it as well, right? I've, I've kind of given you these steps and how I can apply steroids to these steps, but there are a lot of other things to this that, that you don't see, right? The fact that I have this relationship or have had this relationship for a while with my, my franchise, 
gives me the ability to see the history over time, right? This franchise has been around for over 20 years, and in those 20 years, we've seen certain trends. We also have the ability to do research around those trends, so we know where it's going, right? We also, when you enter an agreement with me and when you do this, we don't just stop at the initial valuation, right? We're going to take that initial look, we're going to get it right, and then over time, as you, as you work with me, I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to audit these things. Because one of the things I did not talk, talk to you about, about saving money today is that, yes, you can save money today, but what about tomorrow? Tomorrow is a new day, right? Six months, eight months, 12 months from now, the climate is going to be different. How do you know you're still saving the most money? How do you know that you're still in the right place in these, in these uh, spaces? You, you really don't unless you do the analysis, unless you really commit to every month or every quarter or every year, I'm going to relook at this. I'm going to apply the same process to that. And I'm going to come to a conclusion on those things. I offer that as part of what I offer my clients when we enter an agreement. I'm not going to just stop at or settle for even. I'm not going to settle for just the initial evaluation. I want to continue that relationship. I want to continue to see that you're in the best place because maybe, in some sense, the world changes. <laughs> and a vendor kind of wises up, right, and says, hey, look, I know I'm not offering the best price for these services, or I know that I had I have a really good customer here and I want to give them the opportunity to save even more money, right? And experience an even better level of service. So that's what I have for today. Like I said, please comment down below. Uh, if you've applied any of these steps, please reach out to me. If, if you'd like to get started on this process, I have a website, IamKenRoss.com, where you can find all the information about how to get in contact with me. Um, there's a contact page there. Please fill out the page and it will send me an email and, and bug me to death to say, hey, look, this person really needs your help. And I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can on that, as well as subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends about this channel. Check me out on my other socials. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's really what this is about. So um, until next time, I am Ken Ross. Please visit my website. I am KenRoss.com. And I'll see you around.